So there's my dad. There's my parents trying to sail. Good job, Captain. There's our friends. And uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna do today. Yeah. Looking at the weather and we're trying to plan our three day passage to Block Island. Mother Nature is playing the music at this point and we're just following along. Hey there, I'm Matt, Nancy, Olivia, Mocha, and Cadence. And we've learned to call her home over the last year. And since June of 2021, we've left Texas, traveled the entire Gulf Coast and up the East Coast of the United States. And now we're learning to live life on a sailboat. Simple, minimal, enjoying one day at a time. And if you're new here, welcome. We hope you subscribe. Where to? To the locks. And then where? And then to Norfolk. All right, we're leaving Great Bridge. Supposed to have a hat on. I still have bed head. <laughs> we're leaving Great Bridge and um, heading up to Hampton Roads, Virginia. It's gonna be lovely. We've got a few bridges to go under, some swing bridges, lift bridges, a river lock right up here, and uh, it's gonna be a good time. Now the purpose of going to Hampton, Virginia is to prepare for a three to four day offshore passage to Rhode Island. Hampton is four hours closer to the Atlantic Ocean, and that's gonna buy us time to sit and watch the weather. And so whenever the opportunity arises, we can just make the jump straight offshore. After leaving Great Bridge, we have a simple lock to go through. It controls the tides uh, here in this part of the river. And then we have a few bridges to go under to make it to Norfolk, Virginia. And uh, what are we going to do for school first? It's Saturday. Gosh, it's Saturday. She doesn't do school on Saturday. Yeah. I can't keep track of the days. Crazy. Maybe one day this won't be nerve wracking. Every time, every time. <laughs> Entering Norfolk, Virginia, and we have an aircraft carrier up here. This is the Navy shipyard we're going through, and so we'll share some of that with you. It's pretty cool. It's uh, massive. We saw it from pretty far away. What you think, kiddo? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Nah, she was more excited earlier. The Norfolk Navy Shipyard is the oldest and largest industrial facility that belongs to the Navy. It was first built in 1767. They're building a warship in there and no one can see it. It's top secret. The Navy Shipyard was destroyed in the Revolutionary War and was rebuilt to become the first dry dock in the 1830s. The docks are constructed from granite and concrete and the Navy Shipyard is only one of a few in the East Coast capable of dry docking nuclear aircraft carriers. Its home is in Norfolk, Virginia on the Elizabeth River near Hampton Roads. So we were coming to Virginia. 
Virginia. We saw the Warship 3 and it looked like the hovercrafts were pulling up to bring the people to the ship and they pulled into the back of the ship. That's what that looks like on the one that's being built. It's so cool. Fun, 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 fun. All right, we got a little bit of wind here We're coming out from the ship channels of Norfolk into Hampton Roads. I guess it's a part of Chesapeake Bay, we'll call it that. And so we're going to take our first sail in Chesapeake Bay. Get the main set up. I'm going to turn up this channel and put the boat kind of in neutral. Farther out. And we got about two hours to sail to our anchorage for the night. It's going to be nice. What's your speed right now? enough to make the tack. Let's uh, tell me when. Ready. Ready. Prepared to tack. Prepared to tack. I'm prepared. Ready. The wind died down as it does in the summertime. You know, uh, so we put the sails away, a little motor. We're almost at Old Point Comfort, is where we're staying tonight. Old Point Comfort. And, uh, but that's no problem. Put the sails away, we can still, uh, as we're traveling, do a little cooking. We've got some onions, mushrooms, and jalapenos, some Beyond sausage. I think we might even have some zucchini. We have a great lunch here. Um, so I got the grill working. All right, she's ready for the protein. And uh, you know, we had a comment uh, a week or two ago. Too much motoring. <laughs> yeah, too much motoring. I agree. But you know, what are you gonna do? It's summertime. I mean, we've tried to put requests in with Mother Nature, but she doesn't quite listen to us. So we take what we can get. And uh, if there's no wind, that's why the boat also has a motor. You know. Um, shortly, shortly in the next few weeks, we're going to get some north fronts through here and uh, we're going to get a lot of wind, probably more than we can handle, so it'll be good then. Anyway, we're about to have this lunch and we should be anchoring up shortly. It's going to be great. So, I'll see you in a minute. Nothing's coming, except for Nancy. Here we go. She caught me talking to myself again. This looks really good. Oh yeah, the wind picked up the 10 knots right here at the end, Nance. I'm heading in the channel. I thought that bird was a lobster pot. That's why I turned a second ago. I thought I was going to hit a lobster pot. So is this up here to work? This is us, right up here, yeah. Wrapped up and have food to eat. Um, I made sauerkraut with um, an onion, jalapeno, and mushroom saute. Oh, there's a breeze. Oh, that feels good. 
What's wrong? Why did the wind die? Oh, there we go. There it goes, right? Thanks for uh, cooking the veggies. <laughs> we got a lot of vinegar. Good job, Captain! Cheers, mate! Yeah, buddy. I was cooking sausage on the way across the desert. <laughs> Good morning, and we are heading away from Cadence. Mother Make Nature is playing the music at this point, and we're just following along. We're also following our friends. Where did they go? They took off. Okay, so we're gonna take off too. Anyway, Mother Nature is changing the tune, and um, Hurricane Ida is right now making landfall in Louisiana. Hopefully that won't be too devastating. Hopefully it goes by quite quickly for them. But the current track shows that it's coming up the continent and out the East Coast where we are. It won't be a hurricane by then, but we'll see uh, probably some storms, thunderstorms and um, increased winds. Good and sailing. it looks like now, well, not good sailing. It looks like now there'll be north winds coming off the west side of the hurricane. We're trying to get to Cape May, New Jersey and Block Island, but we're changing our plans um, because we don't want to be out in the storms there. And just this morning we looked, the barometric pressure has dropped tremendously where we are here and right off the East Coast. And there's a, uh, a tropical uh, formation just off the East Coast right now. So it was a good decision for us to stay. We are in Hampton. Uh, actually, Phoebus, Virginia, uh, and we're going to go to the fort today. I think it's going to be a good time. Fort we're, Monroe. Fort Monroe. We're going to tour Fort Monroe. There's a few breweries that way. Uh, there's an ice cream shop. We're just going to have a good time today and watch the weather, and we're going to see what cadence comes to us, and we're going to follow along with it. Sounds good? Yeah. We're getting pretty good. We're getting pretty good at dancing with storms, so the foster journey is the storm magnet. Apparently. Apparently. So Sorry. we're having a great time, so. We are. I think we're cursed, though. Yeah. Or we might be cursed. <laughs> are you ready to have a good time? Yeah. All right, let's do it. We are in the town of Fort Monroe and the fort is actually behind us and we're about to cross over the moat and go and view the fort. It's so cool. Yep. Don't look down. <laughs> Alright, so we're at Fort Sumner. The actual fort is six-sided, um, built in the 1800s um, as a kind of a defense for the whole Chesapeake Bay area, um, particularly for Washington, D.C., which is a couple of rivers up the Potomac. So built in the 1800s, they decommissioned it in 1946. Six sided, surrounded by a moat, and uh, we just went through the guard tower. The town right over there is really pretty, kind of almost a, a piece of fiction, um, the way all the houses and the just everything looks so well kept and the style of it all. So it's pretty cool. We're going to go do a little more walking down inside the fort and check it all out. All right, this is an 1868 ordnance rifle. Shoots a three inch shell. You know, it's like a cannon, but it shoots this three inch ball. Uh, it's nine pounds and it goes 3,900 yards. So that's pretty cool. Um, apparently a lot of the 
stations around the fort were set up for artillery like these. Would want my sailing vessel to be hit by that. That would pretty much put us put us below water. It's pretty cool. Fortifications were first constructed in 1609, and in the 1800s, the stone walls were erected with mortars, cannons, and disappearing guns. Now, while the disappearing guns were capable of piercing the armor of distant ships, the mortars shot high into the air and landed on the soft parts of the deck. The 8-inch breech-loading rifle is a 27-foot-long gun that disappeared into the walls of the fort. It could shoot 11,000 yards and it could pierce 7-inch steel ship armor. Wow. Wait a second. That's embarrassing. That's the sound of a microphone that's not plugged in. Sorry about that. Looks like we don't have audio. So let's cue the music. And we'll do a little voiceover for you. The town of Phoebus is a historic town. Originally uh, first touched by John Smith in 1607 and founded in the 1600s. And in the 1950s, it became incorporated as a historic neighborhood, as a part of Hampton, Virginia. It's home to Fort Monroe. In 2011, Fort Monroe was the nation's oldest active duty fort. The city has some really nice charm, don't you think? And this building has an M on it because it stands for the most affordable food for cruisers. And then that's the sound of us having a great time without recording any audio. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, that's it for the episode today. Thanks for watching. And we look forward to sharing the next few weeks of sailing and travel videos with you. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to leave us a thumbs up. We'll see you next week.